Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Avery for the Natives in Norwich Zoom Room Part 2 with Joe Daly. Today we're going to be looking at breeding bramble finches and his experiences breeding bramble finches. So hopefully it'll give you a lot more tips and more information if you do want to keep and breed this species come the future. I'd like to say first a thank you to Joe for coming on the uh, Zoom Room and then I would like to say thank you to Avian World Dublin for sponsoring the Natives in Norwich. Please make sure you're subscribed down below let's hit 10k before the end of the year the chappies the brambles and the yellow hammers they do take up quite a lot of room they do need space and sometimes they don't work in a mixed aviary especially with bramble finches that because you'll end up with something fighting with something and it doesn't look good if you have the space a single aviary even if it's 66 three foot wide that will work yeah that would be work for them but they do take room Fair enough. That's um, so. So just w w with that, with the flights, then um, are you when, when you've previously bred them, are you filling the flight full of sort of plants and, and things like that? Or are you leaving it relatively bare with a bit of cover? No, just a bit of cover, two, two big lumps of um, header and just a bit of their landy covering her over. Do you do like it? You know, mostly the yellow hammers will build the nest with, with grasses and like small fine bits of hay. It's quite a nice, it's like a blackboard nest, but it's quite compact. It's quite yeah. nice for the, the brambles and moss, cotton wool. They're devils for cotton wool. They love cotton wool. They, you know, you, actually, yeah. I've seen bramble nests on the floor. They build it like a crater on the floor. Right. Wow. So <laughs> they, they can go anywhere. You yeah. Know, but the, the brambles are, they're an experience in, in itself, you know. I had them, I had, I used to breed them and I had a bad experience with them one year. I was coming home and I had, I had a good few of them out on the perch, um, going through the moat, moat, and I went in and I got some, I bought some chandlers in a fishing shop. Right. And he must have had them out on the counter in the sun and back into the fridge and back up, and they, had, they were full of botulism. I fed them to my young brambles. I lost 14 that year. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I was, I, I remember going down to a, to a pal of mine there, McQueen, and I had them laid out. And who came in on young Welsh? A poor old nearly cried. <laughs> Look at that, them, you know. And yeah. they were all coloured. I had some actually particularly good cockboards there as well. But with the brambles, you need to give them about two years, you know, to see right. see will that apron drop on them. The head gets darker, and they will they get walkings on the side. They get spangles down the flanks. Yeah, and they really do look fabulous when they're in full colour and in their in their summer breeding condition, you know. Fantastic. So brambles then, we, we spoke about them uh, a little bit previously, uh, not as commonly kept again, similar to that of a yellow hammer. Um, what advice do you give to people wanting to start with brambles then? If you have the room, they're a, they're a great bird. If you, if you have the room, you know, if room is not a problem. Give them flight. Like you'd hear them, actually, I miss them now. I don't have brambles for the last few years. But you'd hear them at night, you know, when the red wings and, and the, are going over, you know, and you hear them, where? you'd hear, hear them they're squawking in the Avery, <laughs> where there's birds coming over, you know, in August, September, when they're, yeah. they feel for the red wings are coming in. You'd hear them calling to them in the middle of the night. You know, if you had the bedroom in the room, you'd hear them at the back. And they'd always, they, obviously, it's their way of communicating with maybe yeah. the brambles, you know, on migration. But you'd hear them call as well. They're a lovely bird to keep. They're quite aggressive in, in, in a mixed Avery very aggressive in a mixed day and you wouldn't be putting them and chaffies together because you're going to be you're going to be finding one of them's going to be on the losing stick you know yeah I, I have heard i know that they're obviously very very closely related to a chaffinch so would you say they're a bit more territorial than a chaffinch yeah they're much the same the chaffies yeah. the chaffies are, are the same the chaffies too and like you can actually there's another hybrid there the bramble chaffy i had a bramble chaffy but you really, it's it's that I'm not a board that wins on the bench. It's, what they do, it is it is common enough to see a bramble chaffy, but yeah. they, they, you you wouldn't mix them, or you wouldn't mix them at all. You know, if you want trouble, you you know you get too much trouble with them, because um they, they, the 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 cock chaffy does in the breeding season. You'll hear him. He he'll sing his head off, marking his territory, and he'll right. defend that. You know, as, yeah. as well as you know, you're talking about colour feeding, yellow hammers and all. People do colour feed and they can do it quite well. And even with the brambles, maybe a bit of orange to bring it out. You know, once you don't yeah. spoil them. And even with the, the cock chaffies, I, I knew old boys that used to colour them, you know, with a uh, cochineal. You know, the stuff they use from doing in the sponges for bacon, the pink yeah. dye. 
and they do turn out, if you don't do them right, they turn out a darker plum colour, you know, but right. in they're, they're big into their chef inches in Belgium anyway, like all across there. They, you see them, they had them in singing competitions, so. Yeah. But it, they, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very, you'd want to try it out a few times before you could get it actually bang on right. Right. You know? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's do. Yeah, you got. You sound like you got to be really careful with it then. Um, and and yeah. if you're not sure, probably not worth, uh, you know, trying it and ruining them. Um, but so again, so you mentioned about not, you know, not housing with them any other species. So is that just an absolute no go? Don't even consider it because it, it will very likely cause problems. Yeah, but but like the bullies can be aggressive. Chaffees, brambles, and yellow arms can be aggressive. Just don't me. You can throw a few a lin, a pair of linus or a pair of red poles. I think anything that's not a threat to them, you'd be okay with. Yeah. Got but you. then give them plenty of room and you'd want to have a plenty of cover so birds can get away from you, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um you know, it, it, it's very, very similar to other birds, but uh, do you remove the cock bird or do you, do you leave him in? What what what's your pre preference with these birds? Preference is unless they're causing trouble, leave them alone. Got you. Like every hen can do it, and as well as that too, hens can get up off eggs if they don't see the cock. They get nervous. Yeah. You know, abandon me. Not all hens are good mothers either, but the cock, if he's there and she can see him and he's singing, that's no problem. If he's trying to drive her back down to nest again, but she's still on the eggs, well then take him out if he's causing problems. Yeah. It's only, it's no point making problems for yourself. You you find problems either ways. So just yeah. take it. And let them let them alone and if it's going well for you don't break it i don't i don't fix it it's not broken either. so hopefully you have enjoyed that episode today if you have please make sure to subscribe down below and smash a like on it i hope you have picked up a couple of tips and more information there maybe there's something you're looking at to keep in the future and then finally if you would like to join the natives of norwich group on facebook the link is in the description thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one